Aloha Gear Nerds. We got a Synergy box today uh, a lot earlier than expected. I thought this wasn't going to happen until next week, but it happened today. So, uh, oh, let me change that. We're using the computer right now because it's kind of being lazy. We open up the Synergy box, take out the L manuals and the L quarantine card. And here we have the Angle Savage module that we're going to stick into our Synergy Sin 1 and inject it into some amplifiers and into the Helix, the Line 6 Helix. And we're going to play around and try and get some sweet sounds, you know, and see. Uh, maybe we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, I have, I also have the diesel module. Um, so maybe we'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons with the uh, angle versus the diesel. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, there's tools in there. Yes, yes, delicious, scrumptious tools. Um, so yeah, uh, some of the features on this. Oh, this is really weird. Um, of course, we got, it's a two channel module, but there's only one EQ. So they share an EQ, but however, they do each have their own um, volume and gain stage. And then it looks like the bottom channel will have a, um, a contour looks like a contour switch that each channel has a high and low gain switch as you can see there so we should be able to get a lot of tonal options out of this thing so um yeah uh let's see what we can do with this okay the angle savage module for your synergy Either your Sin 1 or your Synergy amp, or whatever Synergy device you decide to get. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since my intro clip and this clip because I've just been blown away by this thing, playing the shit out of it. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm just going to play through it and turn some knobs to show you how drastically um, just spinning these knobs can change your tone. On the diesel module, it didn't seem to do that as much. Um, these... Your bass and treble and tone, or your bass and mid and treble knobs, didn't have as much effect on the sound as the ones on the angle do. Um, and also with the diesel, I actually had to put a boost in front of it. I'm finding with the angle, it's got so much freaking gain that I don't need to do that. So uh, here you go. Uh, you can see where I got my knobs right now. This is kind of a... sounded good. Um, I've got a Vintage 30 in my Lon 6 DT amplifier mic'd up with an SM57, but I'm also blending some of the direct out from the Sin 1 in with it. The Sin 1 has a uh, cab simulated direct out, or uncab simulated, you can turn it on and off. Um, I just blended a little bit of that in there because uh, just the SM57 on the Vintage 30, it's, no matter where I placed it, it just sounded a little thin. So I did that to uh, add a little depth to the sound. And I'm just going to just play through some chunks and chugs and uh, spin some knobs and show you uh, what kind of effect this thing has. <laughs>
use the uh, gain booster switch. You see, I got this gain knob turned all the way down to where we almost got a pretty dry. There's no such thing as clean on this uh, module that I can tell, but check the. Let's uh, check out this contour switch. I like it better with it down or off. I don't know if that's off or just a different contour, but with the switch down, it's more metal. But uh, the switching it up kind of gives it a bluesy, gusty. Give you a little shot of it with my precision drive turned on boosting it i'll give you a little snapshot of the settings on my precision drive but uh yeah uh no gain just uh just level and a little uh tone with without so it just kind of adds a little high-end bite to it Let's, let's hot swap. Let's do a hot swap. You don't even put, have to put your amp on standby or anything. You can just pull out this module, and we're going to replace it with the uh, diesel. And I'm not, I'm not down on this diesel. Don't get me wrong. It sounds great, but the uh, angle was more metal ready to me. Tubes warming up, yeah, baby. And that's with the uh, precision drive. Let's turn it off. It's dirty enough, albeit a little noisy, which, you know, that can be gated. I, I can... sound freaking fantastic um so yeah there you go uh a little sample of the angle savage and the diesel vh4 modules by synergy um absolutely outstanding things to have in your repertoire i mean take a look at this over here I mean, it's just a little tiny unit. You could pull these modules in and out on the fly without even turning anything off. Um, 
and they make ones that hold two modules so you could add four channels to your amp so what i've done here is i've just uh i'm running into a an actual xlr a aes edu cable going from my helix into this amp um, and then i've inserted this sin one module unit into uh an effects loop in my helix so um but you know there's a number of ways you could do it you could just insert this into the effects loop of your amp and um it comes all their units come with foot pedals this one comes with with this one um you know and so you can actually as you see it's got a bypass there you can actually um bypass the synergy altogether so that you're just using the channels in your amplifier or use it of course to change channels on the synergy um, i just hook everything through a helix because the helix does everything and then some it's a very convenient unit um, i don't use the helix so much for the amp models because they just don't sound like a tube amp but that's why we got the synergy that sounds great oh by the way i was using a uh Line 6 Variax. <coughs> so those are actually Piazzo pickups you were hearing. But uh, we do that so that sound like Piazzo's. But they, they do some kind of sorcery. But you can change tunings on the fly. drop D to drop C and with the helix you can actually do that with a push of a button hands for your changing tunes um, brilliant we'll do another review on that anyways so this will this is the first of probably a couple of videos that I'm gonna do for um, this angle savage module uh, maybe on the next one I'll uh, let you see what it hears like in a mix with some drums and bass and rhythm guitars. I'll throw out some leads, you know. Maybe find some girls with some prosthetic limbs and do some stomp pumping or something. But uh, yeah, uh, any questions or comments, I'm more than happy to answer them. Just put them down there below and please like and subscribe. Um, I got tons more stuff coming up. And, uh, and I'll have better lighting, I promise. I just was in a hurry to do this today. The angle wasn't supposed to be here till next week. They overnighted it. How gracious. Anyways, this is uh, Brady Hansen with Guitar Gear How To. Signing out for now. Peace out.